welcome to this video lecture so in this video i am going to start the new topic that is uh, geometrical applications of derivative so geometrical applications of derivative so in this topic or in this lesson i am going to share with you these points so tangent normal slope of tangent slope of normal equation of tangent equation of normal length of tangent length of normal and length of subtangent length of subnormal so angle between two curves orthogonal curves so this 12 points about these 12 points i am going to discuss here so first of all uh, let us start from tangent so what is tangent how we have to define tangent so so let us call this as x axis so this is origin so this one is y axis so i am taking a curve so call this as uh, y equal to f of x curve y equal to f of x now i am going to discuss tangent at p of x1 comma y1 so let us treat uh, this point is p of x1 comma y1 so tangent means tangent is a straight line which touches the curve exactly one point okay so tangent is as is a straight line which touches the curve y equals to f of x curve exactly one point so we wanted to define tangent at p of x comma y1 so that's why i'm drawing a line so which is intersecting the given curve exactly one point so this straight line is called tangent tangent to the curve y equals to f of x at this point p of x comma y right so what is the next one next one is normal so what is normal normal is also a straight line normal is also a straight line which is perpendicular to the tangent and passing through p of x1 comma y1 right okay so this is a straight line clearly this straight line is passing through p of x1 comma y1 and perpendicular to the tangent we can observe here here we have 90 degrees in between these two straight lines so this is tangent this one is normal normal so so this straight line is tangent to the curve y equals to f of x at p of x1 comma y1 and this line is normal to the curve y equals to f of x at p of x1 comma y1 what is our next point slope of tangent so what is the slope of tangent so you can observe here we have some angle in between the x axis and tangent line so tangent of this angle tan of this theta is a slope of tangent now here also we can take tangent of this theta but if you know the tangent uh, slope of tangent it is easy to find the slope of normal if the slope of uh, tangent bm then slope of normal is minus 1 by m because these two are perpendicular lines if we take the product of these two slopes we get minus 1 slopes of uh, perpendicular lines equals to so product of slopes of perpendicular lines equals to minus 1 so we have discussed about tangent normal slope of tangent slope of normal slope of normal is minus 1 by m next let us find equation of tangent so actually we are uh, in derivatives so where we are using here derivative so to find the slope slope here m so it is enough to differentiate this y equals to f of x at this point p of x comma x1 comma y1 means we get slope equals to dy by dx at x1 comma y1 this will give the slope of the tangent if you know slope of tangent 
we can find the slope of normal. So, slope of this line is m equals dy by dx at p of x1 comma y1. So, now we know the, we know this straight line slope and one point on this straight line. So, to find the equation of straight line, we need two points. We need two conditions. Okay? If we know two conditions, if we know two conditions, we can find the equation of straight line because straight line equation contains two constants. Okay? Right. So, here we have two conditions. So, that is a slope. So, we have slope and one point on the tangent. So, what is the equation of tangent? Equation of tangent at P of x comma y1 is y minus y1 point slope one. y minus y1 equals to slope m into x minus x1. Right? Okay. Just simplify this one or just keep as this. So, or we can write here in place of m d over by dx at x1 comma y1 also y minus y1 equals to dy by dx at x1 comma y1 into x minus x1. So this is the slope equation of tangent. So equation of tangent is y minus y1 equals to m into x minus x1. Okay, right. Okay, next. So let us find the equation of this normal. So if you know the tangent slope, so here we know the tangent slope m. What is the normal slope? Minus 1 by m. So now we know this straight line slope and 1 point p of x1 comma y1 on this straight line. So we can write the equation of normal also. So what is that? y minus y1 equals to slope. Slope is minus 1 by m into x minus x1 or y minus y1 equals to minus 1 by dy by dx at x1 comma y1 into x minus x1. So this is the equation of normal. So let us write here. So equation of normal is y minus y1 equals to minus 1 by m into x minus x1. So where m is m is dy by dx at the point p of x1 comma y1. So next length of tangent. So your tangent means this straight line. So length of tangent means uh, no need to find the complete straight line length. Always straight line length is infinity. So here the length of tangent means the distance between so let us treat this uh, point of intersection is A. The distance between A and P is the length of tangent. So this is length of tangent. So distance between A and P is length of tangent. So similarly, so let us uh, assume uh, this point of contact is B. So this distance, distance between P and B is length of normal. Length of normal. Right? So we will find the length of tangent and length of normal. And next, Draw a perpendicular line from, from P to the x-axis. So this is a perpendicular line. So let us call this as N. So now we can observe here two lengths. So A, N length and N B length. So this length is tangent side length. That's why we are calling this length as subtangent length. So this is length of subtangent. So this side, this length is normal side. So this is at normal side. That's why we are calling this length as length of subnormal. So we have now length of tangent this one 
this is length of normal this one is length of subtangent this is length of subnormal so we will find all these lengths in the next video so if you like this video subscribe it so thank you for watching so we'll continue in the next class